So let's continue looking on a proper shape of our particle uh, systems and we're still on a ribbon and we're going from fill now we're going to look on a line and you notice when I'm switching we have new properties come up a sequence so we'll look on a sequence in a second first let's overview what we have it in our uh, stroke properties we have it similar as we have it in the fill and we have it similar in the dot ones it is a stroke capacity where we can use an image as for our opacity of our stroke again and this is not the coloring coloring will define in our palette panel with a color uh, gradient or image this is just to the stroke opacity going and also under stroke we have it these details it's how more accurate or precision will be and as well we have it mouse pressure and you can notice here we have it fade and what fade is happening it is simulating your pressure with your mouse so if I click and I drag my image it will take usually uh, you press and sometimes you do more fade in or fade out on the end and the pressure it's take how long so if I set to the zero it's take the fastest fade in and out and you can see by the end right here or if I take the 10 it will take the longest fade in and out and you can see how n ends right here you can see very good the fading on one end versus not fading at all so this is different with this if you like the simulation you can use it this way or you said usually i'll just keep it around two three uh for the mouse okay let's remove this one and before we continue i want to again create our vector layer right here you can see it's squiggly line by the eyes so we know it's vector layer so we're going to modify image and I want to work with some of those properties. So let's go ahead first and I'm going to draw some lines going over right here and we'll go click on our edit. So edit vector. At this point we can modify our vector lines and as well we can modify our properties so we can see them changing in real time. Okay, we'll go switch to the sequence. And the sequence is allowed us to add images or other elements and they will change as time going. So right here, for example, we have a sequence opacity and we can use the opacity, use it by image or influence by speed. Actually, sorry, it won't be or, it's more and. Use image and you can use it influence by speed. So let's look first use it image this way we can apply kind of texturing to our brushes so we can go use it image and again we can select already preloaded from our library and we'll just select noise right here okay let's go close this one go back to our brush and you can see how they already apply to the ends you know what let's maybe increase size for our ribbons oops i need to go in edit mode we'll just add a little bit more lines wide so we'll just have it a little bit more and you can see if we come zoom closer right here how this already the texture as applied opacity texture applied to our brushes so again we can modify you can preload it your own you can select any other different um shapes Okay, and let's go maybe even use a splat. There you go, it's different effect. Almost you can create look like particles, but it's not truly particle. You will have it for this uh, dotted line, but we can modify shape by using this. And important to understand, influence by speed. What it does, the faster brush is going, there will be more uh, transparent and a slower, it's a uh, more opacity applied. Okay, so let's go ahead and select your brush and we're just going from very fast and to slow down afterwards. So let's go ahead, we go fast and we're slowing down right here. Okay, and in this case, so we opacity applied more and you can see right in this area we have a kind of higher value. Again, this is will influence by the speed. Okay, now let's look on the sequence. So we have a directions, and directions have a two options. 
stroke directions or the profile and it's our the directions if we select in this way then we can uh, select between uh, shapes that apply horizontally and profiles the shapes will apply vertically however when we switch this horizontal and vertically you can see we also have more options for example if we're going in profile which is um the apply the vertically so it's going right there we have it much less um, properties so then we'll look first on this one so we have it our profile and a profile is going from beginning so imagine when we start brush right here you can see when we start it start with a full width and ending with full width so if we're going to start okay let's draw again from middle so we start to drawing and you can see how it's going and it's end up with a soft uh, end and this is what profile um report to us how it will brush start and end of course if we're going and let's switch to edit mode and we'll modify this to um, profile maybe the other ones you can see that our brush will start have those kind of cuts right in this area you can see how it's cut and going slower smaller okay so the brush will work uh, with different types and usually it's again depend what you try to achieve it but we'll go switch to those connection and you can see right here very well one brush how it start with small going and increase and small again so it's have the ability next we have it of course the width for our brush um, profile so very wide and you can see again and right here thin as we select it okay and with jagger so this is add just randomization to different lines so we're going to have it quite a bit the higher number the more randomizations on the width of these lines will add it if you want simulate natural strokes with the water color and everything you probably want water the width and jigger higher or if you want more simulating maybe pen uh, stronger lines then you want the jigger going down okay we have it one this is our again uh profile that going vertically so let's go switch to our stroke direction and this is going actually in direction okay let me oops we'll put it right in the bottom where it was before i just want shrink it a little bit so we have it more proper to see i'm going to just hide my brushes right there there you go so we see all of this in one screen okay and you can see because we're now going in a direction on the brushes and you can notice how the lines is modified they don't go straight they're going to be a bit different okay let's preview before in profile and you can see how the jug is because they're going one directions and now with the strong directions now we have it a way more properties here we have it lens count how many lines we wanted so we can increase amount of them and again this is how many lines will go and the texture will apply towards this Okay, let's reduce so we can preview a little bit better maybe even less similar as before we have it with uh for our brushes and uh, with jitter so we can change this one but also need to mention a little bit about the jitter when we're using the jitter for the sequence versus stroke they apply a little bit different for the sequence because each brush each element it's a sequence each that's element so it's sequence one sequence two sequence three all the sequence going in a sequence data will apply not just on horizontal line it will also change your verticals and of course versus strokes when we're going one big one that will not modify going in a timeline it will work a little bit more uh, along the lines and uh, this is sometimes hard to understand and it's why i do recommend for you open the manual and a look at manual because they have very good images and explanations how it's work for the details and just overall let me open for you and showing so we'll go right there, right here there's a manual and you can see right here it's what we're going if we <clears throat> you're representing the strokes and you can see strokes going in directional does not 
change based on our brush sequence and this is based on the sequences okay so overall this is the how work and again how i said before repeating myself but be sure when you open just open manual and if you have a question you can type in a search find answer and it's a one of the better way it's a application well documented all options and properties there but I understand sometimes the visual look on tutorials can be work a bit better. At least it's worked better for me. Okay, so let's look on more properties. And you notice right here we have a link, pause, and uh, overall they will um, says how long the sequence will going. For example, a link will set the link of sequence how long it will going. So currently it's a medium. If we increase and you can see as we modify how much they're changing so they're going slow and as we stretching the link of those is increasing so this is increasing as well um, link jitter it's randomization between those elements so if we take all the way down there will be very similar link and if we want the randomization in the link we can add and you can see right here we add all these randomizations okay then pause between them it is set a link pause between strokes um in the uh, between stroke sequences inside our line so again if we increase and you can see right here look on this this is actually showing very well you can see right here one stroke second going so on this case we can say how long we want that pause between those sequences so in this case we have it about one sequence and second sequence so we have a two we pause so if we're going to remove them then it will be more smoother going around there and of course the pause generally it's a lot of randomization add between those sequences so for example we'll take link reducing link right there and we also you know maybe making pause even smaller so right here you can see how many links of those sequences do we have and again this is sequence of the line so group you understand this is sequences they stack together and we can modify one of them and also says how they will work together okay next we have a random span and span is between those um, sequences so let's go ahead increase right here we'll take power generator down and between the lines as they're going so we remove the randomness and you can see right here if you watch carefully it's a randomness between of those lines so they become more uniform between a lines if we split them on vertically as they're going right here so the randomness between them um it is uh you know what let's go do this way We'll just select this brush so we can preview actually maybe with the even harder edges so let's say with color gradient no, let's go back to our brush for now okay and you can see right there we have it randomless spanning okay, as we increasing or decreasing so they are become a little bit more uniform against each other as they're flowing okay and then next we have it variable lines instead of more for pressure sensitive the more variation we add the randomizations as it's going and it's again it's not necessarily will affect right now it's work more on a pen pressure sensitive and aligned waving so you can see right here we when it's enabled again with pressure they add this little bit of waviness to the lines so give it kind of um almost noise as if we stretch kind of a bit wave noise to that okay so let's go ahead and then look on the dot line next 